Can I let you know? Are you going out with Leonard tonight? Uh-huh. He's supposed to pick me up at 6.30. What time is it now? Quarter to six. You'd better get going. You're kidding. I haven't even taken a shower. Where are you going? We haven't made up our minds yet. Maybe to a movie. Maybe to a party. Go and see Forrest Gump. It's supposed to be interesting. Oh, maybe we will. I've heard The Sixth Sense is good, too. Well, personally, I prefer Forrest Gump. I really should be going. Do you want to go shopping tomorrow? I'd like to go, but it depends. I might have to go to the store tomorrow and do some work. Can I let you know first thing in the morning? Okay, that would be all right. Ring, ring. Oh, there's the phone. It must be Leonard. Well, I'll be going. Call me tomorrow. I will. Have a good evening. On the phone, a less formal call. Good afternoon, Scott and Smith. May I help you? May I speak to Mr. Scott or Mr. Smith, please? I'm sorry. They aren't here right now. Who's calling, please? George Martin. Is there any message I can take, Mr. Martin? No, I'll call back later. Thank you for calling Scott and Smith. A cup of coffee. Can I get you something to drink? A cup of coffee, please. With milk and sugar? A little milk, but no sugar. I never drink coffee at night. Why not? It keeps me awake. What do you drink with supper? Tea. It helps me relax. I don't like tea. There are so many kinds of tea. Maybe you should shop around and try to find one you like, because coffee is bad for you. That's a good idea. How about a drink? How about a drink tonight? I'd love to. Where can we meet? How about the relax bar? All right. What time? Is 8 o'clock okay? Yes, that's fine. I will meet you there. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. I have a sore throat. You sound terrible. I have a sore throat. You should rest your voice. I know. It hurts when I talk. What are you taking for your throat? Hot tea and honey. That should help. Are you going to work today? No. I'm staying home. Good idea. I'll feel better tomorrow. I hope so. On sale. Do you like my new coat? It looks terrific. I'm glad you like it. How much was it? Eighty dollars. That's a good price. Yeah, it was on sale. Where did you get it? At Sears. I'd like to shop there, too. They always have really good sales. Maybe you should go there today. They have a sale on shirts if you're interested. Good idea. I need some. Not a cloud in the sky. What a beautiful day. Yes, there's not a cloud in the sky. What's the temperature? It's 70 degrees. I love October. Me too. It's not too hot and not too cold. Fall is my favorite season. Mine too. The weather is almost perfect. And the leaves are very pretty when they change colors. Cold and windy. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear my heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the post office. Why? To mail this package. Would you buy some stamps for me? Sure. How many do you want? Ten. Here's the money for the stamps. Okay. I'll be back in 20 minutes, unless I get blown away. It's beginning to snow. Do you like snow? No, I hate it. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but I don't like to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. And I have to drive to work. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get much snow? About 12 inches, they say. Oh, no. Driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? A house at the shore. When is your vacation? It starts next week. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful. Yes, we love the ocean. Do you swim a lot? Not very much. Then why are you going to the shore? Because we all bought new swimsuits. A soccer game. I'm going to play soccer. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. What time does the game begin? Nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? I can't today. I'm very busy. Okay. See you later. I hope your team wins. Not so young. My son is graduating from high school today. And my daughter is graduating next year. How old is she? She's 16. I remember when she was a baby. I know. We're getting old. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. No, it isn't. We were young when we got married. 
That's right, but we got married 25 years ago. Is she single? Today is my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Kathy. I'm going to her house after dinner. How old is she? She's 24. Hmm, she's my age. Is she pretty? Yes, and she's very nice, too. Is she single? No, she's married and has two children. Oh, that's too bad. Not for her. <laughs> to buy a birthday present. What are you getting Jim for his birthday? I don't know yet. You can always get him a shirt. But I got him one last year. Oh, that's right. Let me think. I want to get him something different. How about a briefcase? Good idea. His briefcase is getting old. And it's something he'll use every day. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Telephone. Hello? Hello. Is Mary there? I'm sorry. You have the wrong number. Oh. Is this 685-5290? No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's okay. A light eater. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No, thanks. I'm already full. Oh, come on. Have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some coffee, then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With sugar, please. No cream. Here you are. Thank you. A nice flat. One. This is a nice flat. Hmm. There's a living room, there's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom, and there's a bidet. What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet, and even if I don't know what it is, they will be very jealous when I tell them. A nice flat, too. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Hmm, there aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And uh, where's the toilet? Afraid of flying. Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you going? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure. It's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. That's silly. Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe in a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. A plane reservation. I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight 207. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Yes, sir. You're booked on flight 207. Please check in at the airport an hour before flight time. Thank you. Getting together. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but we'll probably go to see AI. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, come then. Sure. If I'm in town, I'll call you and let you know. How's your new job going? Oh, Miss Wallace, long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we will have to wait and see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Take care. We eat a lot. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the TV. You're right. Thanks. Where are you going? To the supermarket. Again? Yes, we eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Good. The packages will be heavy. There is a new health store right up the road. Maybe since you guys eat a lot, you should try and eat more healthily. Maybe you're right. We have all put on a little weight. I'll take you. Diana! Oh, George, hi, how are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. The bank closes in 20 minutes. Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away, on Vine Street. Well, get in. I'll take you. Are you sure it's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, George. Thank you. You're welcome. We must be out of them. Hi, sorry I'm late. I missed the bus. Oh, that's okay. I had time to clean up before you came. 
You don't look very good. I must be getting a cold. I've been sneezing all day. <gasps> Bless you. Thank you. You must be getting a cold. Why don't you go lie down? I'll bring you some aspirin. I don't see any aspirin in the medicine cabinet. We must be out of them. I'll go to the drugstore. Is there anything else we need? Could you get some? <gasps> I don't know if they sell at you here, but I'll check.